Hello, I'm Zizet, and in this video I'll show you how to install PSP Homebrews on your PlayStation Vita. Um, at first you have to make sure that your Henkaku, well, your molecular shell bottle, can be started. So, either you have to go back to the website, the Henkaku website, and reinstall this bubble, or if you already have it, you can just click on the install button, and then it will automatically reapply the system patches that are necessary for the bubble to work. I already did this, so my bubble is working. We just press the select button, and then we can start the FTP connection. Now on the computer, we will deal with where you have to transfer your homebrews, so you can run them via the VHBL bubble. This video will only deal with the PSP homebrews via the VHBL bubble. If you want to know more about the Vita native homebrews, like the homebrew bubbles themselves, then you will have to wait for the next video. Okay, on the computer we have to take care that we can successfully connect our PC with our PlayStation Vita. Um, be sure that your PlayStation Vita and your computer, or whatever FTP device you're using, are connected to the very same wireless network, so they can find each other. Then in the FileZilla you just click on Server, then you can just click New Server, and then have to enter the server address that's displayed on your PlayStation Vita. Oops. And for port it's 1337 and then you should just have to click connect and then you should be able to connect to your PlayStation Vita's memory card via FTP. So for our homebrews to successfully transfer them on our onto our PlayStation Vita you have to, we have to go into UX0 then we scroll down go to PSP emulator and then we should find the um, folders we are used to like slash PSP slash game and so on. Um, for the VHBL on version 3.60, we have to put our files into the VHBL folder. So the path will be ux0 slash PSP emo slash PSP slash VHBL. And then in this directory, we will put our homebrews. For example, I have this um, Game of Color emulator, and it's called uh, emo master and it's version 3. Um, you can see it has an eboot.pvp. Um, some versions of the VHBL require an eboot or pboot.pvp file, some others require a wmenu.bin. So if you're not sure what, um, which version your VHBL requires, then there's just copy and paste the eboot, um, mark the whole name and there's just rename it into wmenu.bin. I mean, if I'm gonna do this now, it's gonna complain that, oh, the file already exists, but that's fine. So, you just have an eboot and a W menu, and then you should be able to use your files. Now, to actually transfer, um, the folder which contains the eboot file has to be transferred via FTP. So, the, um, now it says it's already on the device. That's okay. I'm just gonna override it. <coughs> so, in the end, we will have a folder inside of this directory. And when the data transfer is done, we can just click into this folder and you can see it transferred the pvp file, it transferred the .bin file, and so on and so on. It even transferred my um, games, Tetris, Zelda, Pokemon, and so on. And that's pretty much everything we have to do on the computer. So the path is slash ux0 slash psp emo slash psp slash vhbl. ux0 PSP emo, PSP, and then if the folder doesn't exist, the VHBL folder, just right click and create it. That's fine. And then inside of this VHBL folder, you put your homebrews. And now back on our PlayStation Vita, we can just close our molecular shell and start our VHBL bubble, and then we should find our homebrew and it should be working. If the homebrew is not working, you might have chosen a version that's not compatible with the VHBL. Now let's go back to our PlayStation Vita. Okay, back on our PlayStation Vita, we can now close our molecular shell, and if we do this, we go back to our VHBL bubble. We can use the one I created in the previous video, the Uno bubble, or we can use the other one that I already had. It doesn't matter. You should get a small white screen, followed by a black screen with this, and then you should load the VHBL.
As you can see, it's loading the um, PSP slash BHBL path. We have our emulator master, and if I click on it, it's starting, and we can run homebrews. Like I said, this is this video only deals with the um, PSP homebrews. Uh, parent PHBL emu master GBC crystal. This video only deals with PSP homebrews. If you want um, native homebrew bubbles, then you will have to wait until the next video. Uh, they are very easy to install though, so it should be just <clears throat> installing homebrews as a bubble is super easy. You just have to transfer a VPK file and then install them via molecular shell. It's pretty easy. But some people ask for a video, so I'm going to present a video, but not now. I'm going to do it in the next few days. And this is of course running on the version 3.60, the most recent version for the PlayStation Vita. No old version required, just the newest. I'm do that and see you soon.